Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedigan. Today we're going to keep working on audio editing in Studio One. So on previous tutorials, uh, we demonstrating how to uh, edit audio in this software using a manual procedure. We would slice audio events and drag them in position and then do crossfades. Okay, that was the manual way of doing it. That's the, I guess, the old school way of doing this um, this procedure. Now. There are other ways that are more automatic, more, I guess you could say, smart. Um, and we're going to start with one of those, okay? Today we're going to be using the audio quantize feature from Studio One. So we have here a, a mono audio track. It's called Claps. Um, it's the same we played before. I'm going to press play so that you can listen. Uh, I have my metronome on. It's set to 120 BPMs. Uh, I was supposed to play this claps on the uh, quarter notes, and you're going to see that some of them are, are they're pretty off. So the per the performance, timing wise, it's not very good, and we're going to fix that. So let's press play so we listen. Yeah, so it's pretty obvious, right? Um, the third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, those claps were pretty off, so we need to fix that. Now, how do we apply this audio quantization method? Well, uh, the, the audio quantization method in Studio One pretty much works just as if you were quantizing MIDI. Um, the software will read the transients using some kind of uh, algorithm or mode in order to detect where the transients happen, and it'll try to move those transients to the closest grid mark. Okay, how do we do that? Well, uh, first of all, we're going to click on our audio event just to select it, and then we're going to go to this little Q icon here, quantize, click there. And here we're going to set this to grid, so we're going to try to quantize to a grid, and we need to select the node value. As I said before, I've been trying, or I was trying to play this claps to the quarter note, so I'm going to select the quarter note there. That's good. Um, here you're going to select the field, we're going to select a straight field, and we need to select the start and the uh, the strength, okay, the start and end, end strength. In this case, start's going to be 100%, so it'll try to align the starts of these transients 100% um, to the grid, to the closest grid mark, okay, in this case to the closest quarter note. Um, so once you do this, you can basically press apply and automatically the software will analyze those transients. As I said, it's going to drag them to the closest grid mark and you won't hear uh, or you should not hear um, you know, weird artifacts and things like that um, because it has this, um, that's, that's basically what this does. It has its own um, internal way of processing audio so that um, you don't have to create any crossfades or things like that. It'll do it automatically. It'll it'll stretch this audio uh, so that the new audio and the editing uh, sounds smooth, if you want to call it that way. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and press apply here. Boom. So check this out. Uh, first of all, now we have these light blue uh, lines. These are bend. Um, th these are called uh, bend markers. Okay. And once again, it creates the bend markers, and then it drags those transients into the to the closest grid mark. Uh, you can go deeper into that if you go click on audio bend. You can see um, all the options related to audio bend. Okay, to the bend markers. Now, uh, if we press play, it should be pretty close. So that's that's great. Okay, so the software did the the audio dragging for us. Okay, it did it automatically because we were working here in the in the quantize menu. Just press apply and we set 100% strength on the start. Now, this is quote unquote automatic because it decided that for us. Um, it was pretty close, as you could see. I mean, you could hear it, right? The the transients happened right at the the grid mark. So that is how you use the quantize function, the quantize audio function in Studio One. On the next tutorial, we're going to go deeper into this and we're going to work 
and we're going to try to edit the way these um, bend markers work. Okay, so we're going to take this to another level of complexity. But by now, this is the automatic way of quantizing audio in Studio One. Um, if you want to stop seeing these uh, light blue lines, you can go to your um, audio bend menu, and then this little eye icon, you click there, and now you can see how how close, how perfect these transients are now aligned to the grid, okay, to the quarter note. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.